They're loud. They're obnoxious. They've invaded a city that prides itself on being weird, and they definitely are. Going out around dusk in Austin can feel like a scene straight out of Alfred Hitchcock's Birds. And trying to eat outside can suddenly become a game of keep away between you and the birds and your food. It's obvious why the animals have a three-star review on Yelp, but how'd they get here? Research shows that humans and grackles have been living together since the 1400s in Mexico. After the Aztecs conquered the lowlands of Mexico, they became enamored with the grackles, living there because of their dark, iridescent feathers. So they brought the birds to what is now Mexico City and began to release them. Now. You can see them on every street corner in Austin, especially ones with HEBs. Turns out those parking spots are prime real estate for these lovely birds of Austin. The birds get to stay with their pals in the trees and can make quick getaways. Austinites have a love-hate relationship with grackles. We're simultaneously annoyed by the incessant cawing and well, some of us proud that they're as loud as they want to be and demand to be seen. They don't conform, and their drama inspires art in dances, paintings, and poetry every day. Purple iridescence, a hard-edged thrill to say. How can a person not love the chance to repeat the word grackle? While we figure out whether we hate them or respect them, one thing is for sure, they are not going anywhere. <laughs> except oh. except H-E-B. You know, yeah. they, we say they're dumb, but they're, yeah, they're pretty smart that they know to go to H-E-B. Yeah. Right? I love that we said that the grackles kick it at H-E-B. They <laughs> yeah. just kick it, you know? I can't stand them. Count <laughs> me in the group they're, that they're hates them. They're quite annoying to me. Oh, yeah. They are annoying. <laughs>